Okay, Aquarius, it's me, your girl D with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you a weekly read. This is going to be for the last week of February from the 23rd through the 29th. I can't believe we are already in the at the end of February. I hope you guys enjoyed your season. I really enjoyed um, Aquarius season a lot. Um, I made some, I set some intentions on the full moon of, on a new moon of Aquarius to uh, connect with more like-minded people. And um, I've been in communication with uh, a few new people that I've met and it's a beautiful thing. So I recommend that you use the new moon in Pisces um, to set your intentions as well. What you want to do is just look at um, what Pisces is about, all right, and look at what the house of Pisces represents. Um, and on the new moon, which is on Sunday, the 23rd, you can set some intentions to use the Piscean energies to your advantage. So, for example, when I did my um, my intentions for Aquarius, Aquarius is all about, you know, um, groups, social like-minded organizations, people who are fighting for the humanitarian causes. Um, so what I made an intention for was to connect to more like-minded people, you know, people that I could relate to, to find my own tribe, so to speak. And so I've connected with two or three people thus far, and it's been amazing. And I, I can't wait to see, you know, what more comes. But you want to use the energies of the moon that's there if you do, you know, if you do new moon um, intentions. You want to use the, the intentions of the new moon, what it's about, and put your intentions out there related to that. And you will be working with the energies instead of, you know, working against them. And you would have a more likely probability of getting what it is that you desire by working with the enemy, with the, in, with the energies. And for example, whatever the full moon is, New moons are all about intentions for um, asking for what you want to bring into your life for abundance and things like that. For things that no longer serve you and that you want to get rid of, you can use the full moon for that to, you know, um, so what's the full moon going to be in? Oh, what was the full moon? I forget what the full moon was. What was this full moon? It was Leo. Okay, so Pisces, the full moon, is going to be in Virgo. So Virgo is um, related to um, Virgo in the sixth house. It's related to work, um, you know, service. Um, it's related to known enemies. It's related to your health. So if there's something that you want to get rid of, like, for example, on the new moon in, in Virgo, when that comes up, it's going to be approximately two weeks from the, the new moon, which is next Sunday. You can ask the universe to remove um, any obstacles or blocks that are keeping you from um, eating healthier or from working out or things like that. Because I'm damn sure going to use it for that. Okay. So, all right. Enough blabbing on. Let's get the, let's get your reading going here. So, your energy right now is eight of cups in reverse. All right. This is um, Scorpio energy. Actually, it's Piscean energy. And um, Mercury is in retrograde in your second house. Okay. So, you know, you're looking at, you're looking back at things in reference to, you know, what's important to you, what, what, what your values are, um, your monetary possessions, your material possessions. Um, you're also going to be looking back at, you know, your, your background, your, you know, um, your earnings, you know, so you're going to be focused a lot on money. But in reference to this scenario here, you're walking away from something or you've already walked away from something. And with the eight of cups in here, there is like repair. I'm sorry, not repair, but it's like learning from the past or someone returning home. OK, so some of you, maybe you're traveling. OK, or maybe you're considering traveling and going back home for some of you, maybe you're relocating back home. OK, but a lot of you, this is just all about learning a lesson. OK, let's see um, what the challenge is with this situation for my Aquarius massive. We have the magician in reverse. This is a major arcana. All right. So this is going to have a major effect. And your challenge is manifesting what it is that you need. OK, so if this is about learning from the past, the challenge is manifesting, you know, um, what you need so that maybe you don't repeat past actions or situations that occurred in the past. If this is about, um, you know, returning home, perhaps, 
the challenge is getting there. It could be, um, you know, Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury is about communication. It's also about travel. So this is a Mercury retrograde card, magician in reverse, Mercury in reverse. So the challenge could very well be you traveling or you getting money to travel or you having, you know, the desire to travel. It could also represent you, you know, maybe you're emotionally drained right now. And you just don't have the energy emotionally to deal with things in reference to travel. Okay, or in reference to what the challenge is or resolving the situation. Let's see what the universe um, wants you to keep in mind or what your higher self is trying to nudge you to think about or consider. And another major arcana, death. This is uh, Scorpio energy. This is your higher self here. So this could be change. It's about change. Okay, is what I'm getting here about a transformation, a major, major change. Some of you could have walked away from a, a relationship. You could have walked away from a marriage. Okay, um, and you may have learned a lot of lessons. For some of you, maybe you're stuck. Okay, when I get the magician in reverse and the death card in reverse, this is telling me that you could very well be stuck because you're not able to manifest what it is that you're looking for. OK, you walked away from a situation, you're having ch challenges manifesting what you truly want. So you may be feeling stuck right now. Or some of you, you know, you walked away from a situation and there's some challenge in manifesting what you want, but you're focused on not going back. You're focused on moving on with the death card in reverse. You've gone through a transformation that puts you to the point where you already walked away from a situation. Let's talk about where your head is at right now, Aquarius. The Queen of Wands energy. So some of you are focused on, you see there's a picture here with the Queen of Wands with her child. Some of you are just focused on your children, making sure that they're okay, all right, and taking time to enjoy them. Um, with the Queen of Wands energy, this is you, you know, um, trying to maybe... Find a way, trying to tap into your energy creatively to find out what it is that you need to do or what you need to, what, you know, how do you access what it is that you need to manifest. So you could be just stepping into your power, using your creative energy to figure out how you can manifest what it is that you truly want. Now the outcome here I'm getting, King of Wands in Reverse. Okay, King of Wands in reverse energy is someone who may be afraid. Okay, this person could be someone who they could be a bully. Okay, so maybe some of you are walking away from someone who might be physically abusive because the King of Wands, he takes action. He's about action. He is the um he is the the king who's quick who's quickest to take action. Okay, physically. He's a, uh, the wands are about action. They're about aggression. OK, so this person could have been physically um, abusive or physically um, abrasive to you. They could have been bullying you. Doesn't have to be physically could have been emotionally with the eight of cups in reverse. This could have been emotional abuse. OK, and maybe some of you are just having some issue getting your mojo back, just getting back to you right now. All right. You went through a major transformation from leaving this person. Some of you, you just focused on regaining your power, focused on taking care of your family. All right. And the outcome is, is that maybe you left this nonsense behind. OK, um, this could also be weakness and not being ready for something. OK, but let's clarify before we do that. The overall energy is the queen of pentacles. OK, queen energy. This is internal. You you internally. Yeah, you're thinking about focused on your family, taking care of your family, making your money, making sure that you're able to be stable, um, sustainable, practical in your approach moving forward, because this is what you're focused on now. So some of you, is, like I said, with uh, Mercury in, re in retrograde in your second house, you're focused on taking care of your your finances and making sure that you're good. OK. Some of you are revamping, revamping that, looking at that with Mercury in retrograde, looking to make changes, you know, maybe your attitudes and ideas in reference to money and your possessions and what's valuable to you, what's important to you. Some of you, your children, you're looking at how you look at these things. Okay, let's clarify this eight of cups in reverse. Now I'm going to um, 
this is going to be uh, a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. Um, those watching on behalf of Aquarius, if this isn't your story, but the situation is it, just switch the roles, you know, if you need to, all right? But it can resonate with either one of you. So Eight of Cups in reverse here is, okay, before I can get that out, this dropped out. We have the eight, the Queen of Cups in reverse, all right? So someone walked away from a situation with the Queen of Cups in reverse, oops, and we have the Seven of Swords here because someone felt that they were being deceived. Okay, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is someone who um, could have been emotionally unbalanced. Okay, maybe this deceit that this person did to you, how they deceived you, it, it got you emotionally unbalanced or it got you to the point where you don't love this person anymore with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Now, let's see what we're going to look at another group of you for this Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords reverse. Someone wants to apologize. And we have the Magician. But they, they for whatever reason, they can't. Or maybe they're just holding back. So the challenge is not holding back, but going ahead and manifesting. Usually when the magician is in reverse, this is um, about scattered energy, scattered thoughts, um, unfulfilled potential. <clears throat> so maybe you're feeling this way in reference to this relationship. Now for others of you, we have the fool, which is Uranus energy. Uranus is in your third house right now, which is the house of... Um, for you, the third house is, oh, what's the third house? Oh, your environment, your surroundings, your your siblings, okay? Um, so maybe you, um, with the fool, you, you want to start something new. So some of you, again, you may be willing, you, did I say something about relocating or moving? I thought I did. I thought I did. Maybe some of you want to move, yeah. So returning home, okay, moving back home. Yeah, so some of you want a new start with the uh, Fool card here. And then we have the Nine of uh, Wands here. Yeah, because some of you are just keeping your distance from, from this person or you just want to keep your distance from this situation. Some of you are just ready to leave this alone and move forward. So yeah, that explains to me for some of you this Death card is about you already done. This is a wrap. When the Death card is in reverse, it's already it's to the point where it's already a wrap. You've already changed your feelings about it. You're no longer feeling it anymore. You've moved on. You've gotten over it. Or this is you being stuck, not fully getting over the situation. So for some of you, you're fully over it. Okay? For some of you, you're stuck with the magician in reverse showing up twice in this reading. All right? Now, um, let's take a look and see why the magician is here. So that's the challenge. Why is the magician in reverse? So for some of you, we have the three of wands and we have the nine of, of cups. So um, for some of you, you're looking out with the three of wands energy and you are trying to um travel for i uh, get travel here okay with the fool card the three of wands and the eight of cups in reverse i'm getting someone wants to travel someone wants to leave um but they're not able to they're not yeah they're not able to wish fulfillment nine of cups energy Okay, so with this Nine of Cups here, this is telling me which is coming true. Abundance, good health. So, some of you, um, you're going to be able to. You're really wishing that you can move with this Nine of Cups. You're really like, oh my God, I want to go so bad. I want to leave so bad. All right, but for whatever reason, in this situation, maybe it's money. Okay, let's see what else is going on with others of you. So, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups reversed. So, for some of you... Um, with the with the uh, magician in reverse, um, it, with the six of wands, this is someone who, you know, you feel you'll be victorious. You want to be victorious, but you just don't have support. You want to move with the six of wands energy. You want to um, relocate. Okay, you want to um, get recognition. Okay, good news, success. Okay, and with the three of cups in reverse, this is um, no support. Okay, so some of you, you know, you're just looking for emotional support. All right, and um, you would be fine once you get that. So others of you, I have the page of wands and I have the eight of wands. So for some of you, you want a new beginning and you're, you're um, sending messages. Now a new beginning as to what? Hmm. That, I don't know. It could be, uh, we ate a wands again, more, more travel energy. So some of you, yeah, you definitely want to move and you want to move quickly. 
you want to relocate and you want to relocate quickly. Now, the death card here. This is where your higher self is telling you to move on or that, you know, you're stuck for a reason. Let's see why this is here. So we have the five of wands in reverse and the page of swords reverse. So for some of you, you are done with this situation with the five of wands in reverse and with the page of swords, you're not communicating with this person at all with the page of swords in reverse. Others of you, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse and the lovers in reverse. So for some of you, you know, the situation is over. You had to make a choice and you prefer to be single. Okay, that's what I'm getting for some of you. But with the nine of wands in reverse, a lot of you, you know, you're having some financial setbacks as well. This could be why you're focused on making your money with the queen of coin right here. Overall energy. Okay, so um, maybe some of you, when you left the situation, it took a toll on your money. Okay, could very well be or you could have been provided for while you were in this relationship. And now that you're um, no longer with this person, money could be an issue here. Okay, but you're willing to you've made the choice, you know, that that's what you want to do. For some of you, your partner made the choice for you and left you. Okay, is what I'm getting here. And you're having a, a problem, you know, manifesting money or manifesting a new beginning. Some of you may just, you know, your, your thoughts are scattered right now. You can't think straight is what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, I have the death card clarifying the death card in reverse. And we have the wheel of fortune. So for some of you, this is a good thing. Leaving this situation, leaving this person or relocating. Not necessarily relocating, but just leaving the situation is going to bring you um, blessings. Okay, with the wheel of fortune. The universe is saying this is what you needed to do. So that's good news. Now, where your head is at is the, full, the Queen of Wands energy. So let's see where your head is at right now. We have the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, Nine of Wands. Page of Cups in reverse. So for some of you, you know, you're, you're, you've stepped into your power. You've taken control of the situation now that you've gone through this transformation and left. And you're not, with the Seven of Wands energy here, you're in a situation where, you know what, it's just like, you know what, you feel like, you know, you need to protect yourself against this person. And, you know, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, this person is fickle energy. Okay? It's like one minute they want to be with you, the next minute they don't. You know, and you're not dealing with that anymore. You don't want the on and off with this person. For others of you, I have the Two of Wands here and I have the Chariot. Yeah, you're not communicating with this person. A lot of you, you, you know... You got, a, you got a couple of suitors, but you're not interested, is what I'm getting for some of you. With the um, Seven of Wands here and the Knight of Cups in reverse, which is clarifying the Queen of Wands, you're a very attractive person, and a lot of people are trying to, you know, holler at you, but you're just not interested right now, okay? Now, for others of you, I have the Two of Wands and the Chariot in reverse. Chariot uh, is Major Ankarana, okay? That's Cancer Energy. So some of you are looking to decide, you know, where you want to go because... With the chariot in reverse again, this is relocation. Both of these cards are about travel and relocation. Two of wands. If you look at this picture, this person is trying to decide where they want to move to. He has a globe in his hands, trying to decide which way to go. You can go anywhere. All right. And then with the chariot in reverse here, um, this is giving me energy here that you know um, this person is 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 losing direction. You know, there more travel issues. Could be car delays. Could be having some problems with car. So maybe you're looking to determine, okay, where is it that I can drive? You know, and, and trying to be creative with that information with the Queen of Wands. Trying to figure out a way to, to uh, get your car on the road for some of you. All right. Or if you want to drive. Some of you don't want to drive. Or some of you want to go uh, to a place where you can't drive. <laughs> where you can't drive to. You have to take a flight. All right, others of you, I have the Queen of Swords reverse, and I have the King of Swords ooh, reverse. All right, so yeah, air sign energy. So some, some of you, and I usually don't, I say this every once in a blue, but some of you are definitely dealing with another air sign. This is um, Aquarius energy and Libra energy. You could have that in your chart, or your partner could have this in your chart, the combination. But you both are very cold Hmm. Um. 
with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is someone who's not accepting the reality of things. And it's with the King of Swords, you're not speaking up about it. Okay? Because Queen is feminine energy. That's your emotions and your feelings. Masculine is actually taking the action. Okay? Um, so it looks like with the Queen of Swords in reverse, uh, you're at a point where, you know, you're very, some of you are very angry. Some of you are cold towards this person. You know, you're not interested. You guys are not intimate anymore, is what I'm getting strongly with the King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're you're not communicating with this person. Yeah, with the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you guys are not talking at all. You guys could have gotten a divorce as well. Um, some of you um, are seeing someone else, is what I'm getting here. Or there was a mistress that came between you two. And this person could um, have someone pregnant. Your person could have gotten someone pregnant or your person could be pregnant by someone else is what I'm getting for some of you. All right. And this person is going to move forward and have the baby. Now, the outcome here is the king of wands in reverse. So we have that clarified with temperance in reverse, major arcana, which is Sagittarius. All right. And we also have the ten of pentacles in reverse. So um, king of wands reversed. In reference to this situation, this is someone who is feeling weak, okay? Because we have temperance in reverse, and they this is someone who cheated on their family. King of Wands is someone who um, stepped out and cheated on in, on their family, all right? And with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is what it's telling me here. Now, for others of you, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Wands. So for others of you, yeah, this represents um, this person... Um, having multiple affairs or this affair going on for a very long period of time and someone has just reached their limit with the Ten of Wands and they're tired of it. This could be the person who's cheating. They could be tired of what they're doing and maybe wanting a transformation, okay? Because this could be their reading. Aquarius, you could be the one who um, walked away because you were cheating, all right? Or your person could have walked away because you were cheating or it could be you were cheated on. Take the energy how it resonates, but someone's tired of a third party situation. Someone is tired of always having three people in the relationship, okay, with the Ten of Wands. For some of you, this could be going on for 10, um, a lot of you, um, eight, nine, 10 years you've been with this person is what I'm getting strongly. We got a lot of tens here. We got the Ten of Swords. We got the Ten of Wands. We got the Ten of Pentacles. The only thing we don't have is the Ten of Cups. We do have the Nine of Cups, though. So I have also, oh. Pop right out. Three of swords reversed. All right. And then we also have the queen of pentacles showing up the second time. The overall energy is the queen of pentacles. But she is in reverse showing up here. So with the king of wands and this clarify with the three. Okay. So this is someone who's over this. Okay. This could be also with this queen of uh, pentacles. This is someone who is um, very jealous. Okay. They're over the jealousy. This is someone who was very jealous because of the third party situation, but they're no longer uh, they're no longer hurt with the three of one, uh, swords in reverse. This is someone who may want to apologize, but there's someone here who is afraid to do so because they know how much they hurt this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So someone's definitely afraid to apologize, but they want to. All right, um, I got the Ten of Swords here talking about apology as well. So someone is looking to um, apologize. Is what I'm getting here or make things right. But this could also represent the fact that, yeah, they want to, um, this could also be physical healing too. Someone could have had some surgery. Okay. There could have been some situations going on in reference to that. But let me get you guys, um, let's see. I'm just trying to see. Death. Okay. All right. So, yeah, let me get you some advice here. All right. So what do we have for Aquarius? What kind of advice can we give to my Aquarius massive? What kind of advice can we give Aquarius? Okay. Ooh, Aquarius. All that glitters is what came out. And we have the number 16. So the number 16 major arcana is the tower. The tower is Mars energy. It's all about action. It's all about um, something um, coming in and destroying what is currently going on. 
Okay, Scorpio is also ruled by Mars. Okay, and so we have the death card in reverse. A transformation has occurred. A change, a permanent change has occurred. So let's talk about, let's see what the message is for all that glitters. All right. So with this relationship, this is about a relationship for some of you. So for here, it says sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish the story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and the glamour that seemed so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface beyond the mask to the essence of a person. Who the person is, not what he or she has or can give, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes of your heart. Let go of artificial. I'm sorry, let go of artifice and let what is authentic shine. So some of you may have cheated on your partner, maybe because you find that your partner with the Queen of Wands or or you cheated with this Queen of Wands energy because we have Queen and King, King and Queen of Swords. So you guys, you know, maybe there was no spark in the relationship. Maybe, you know, um, you guys approached it from a logical perspective and there was no passion. Wands are about passion. Swords are about intellect. Okay, so you could have been dealing with another um, air sign energy that may have had wands in their chart. Okay, and so maybe they felt there was no passion in the relationship. There was no excitement in the relationship. Also, it could be that this person that you're dealing with, they could be very attractive and a lot of people are after them. All right, and so maybe they, you know, went after or you went after someone who, you know, for just the, the look. Okay, because maybe you were bored in your relationship with the king and queens in reverse. King and Queen of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, this could be people who are very, um, the relationship is very stale, very dry. Again, you guys could have been together for years and someone may have stepped out because, you know, they were physically attracted to someone else. Yeah, yeah, someone, someone has a lot of attention. Someone's been getting a lot of attention. With the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands, yeah, and then we have the um, Five of Wands, but that showed up in reverse, and then we have the Seven of Swords here. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of um, other people involved in this relationship. Maybe not a lot of other people, but there were definitely other people. Someone was being pursued by other people outside of the relationship or outside of the marriage. I want to get you guys some advice, some other advice here. So that was what all that glitters was. So... I mean, if you guys are going to work things out, you know, you may want to seek counseling, perhaps. Um, maybe you guys were doing that. Or maybe you're afraid to seek counseling. Maybe with the King of Wands in reverse, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Maybe counseling was um, suggested, but somebody is just not willing to do it. For others of you, we have trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. So, hmm. Whatever your decision is, whether it is to um, work on this situation to try to work on it a little bit more or to reach out to this person, it's saying it's safe for you to trust. All right. So if that's what you want to do, then trust in your gut. Trust what your intuition is telling you. For others of you, you got to make a decision as to what you want to do. Um, some of you are trying to relocate. You're trying to leave. OK, so that could be, <clears throat> um, you know, what it is that you want to decide about this relationship maybe you don't want to move forward with it some of you i'm showing that you don't because you both are in the negative here with this um swords energy this could have been a threesome that turned into something that it shouldn't have and then maybe the person was seeing this person um outside of the relationship so maybe you brought this person into your marriage to, to spruce up the relationship but one of you were seeing this person when the other person wasn't around is what I'm getting for some of you. All right. And then we have inter yeah, interference. This is what I was just talking about. So some of you are dealing with that. Okay. Someone interfered. You could have other people. Like I said, with the seven of wands, the six of wands here. Um, you got somebody who got a lot of suitors. Okay. Whether you're in a relationship and married or whether you're single and you're dating. Or where you were living together. Or whatever you prefer. Some of you were married for sure. 
All right. But there are other people who are interfering in the relationship. Now, I don't know if you're voluntarily introducing people into your relationship, but it looks like if that's the case, that that is not working for you all. OK, someone is. Um, someone could be very abusive, um, abrasive. OK, there could be someone who's constantly lying with the queen, the king of swords energy and with the queen of swords. This person is in denial. Like you see what's going on. The queen energy sees what's going on. All right. But it's just in denial about it. Maybe it's because it's been going on for so long. All right. But this is the information that I have for you. I hope you guys make the best decision for you. And um, I will uh, reach out to you guys to um, get you your marches reading shortly. I love you guys. Take care, Aquarius.